So, was the Holy Lamb of God on England's pleasant pastures seen? Yes, of course, otherwise Blake wouldn't have bothered to ask the question. Unfortunately, knowledge of this and all other star pictures used to make up not only Blake's poem, but mythological stories as well, didn't suit those who held sway over our green and pleasant land. So they disappeared. It is quite amazing that this could have happened, but over the centuries, bit by bit, the church eradicated all critical links between the stars and mythology. The proof of this lies in the stars themselves and in the total absence of a Western stellar legacy. Fortunately, the stars lie beyond the influence of the church, so it is still possible, given clear skies and a bit of practice, to rediscover what has been wiped from our minds. And the lost lamb is one of the cutest, easiest to see night sky pictures of them all. Before we take a look at the stars that form the Lamb of God, we ought to consider the conduct of the Lamb itself. It came, according to the New Testament story, to do a very specific job.